Thank you for stopping by my channel. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell, double click it so you get notifications on all. And while you're at it, make sure your phone has notifications turned on. Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. And today we're gonna be doing some acrylic pouring. I've got my Arteza. There's 32 different colors in here. Actually, there's 28 different colors. There's 32 bottles because they've got some white and black in there. But um, let's go ahead and get started. If you wanted to get some of these, I'm going to put a link down below where you can use my code to get a discount. And then that supports my channel as well. So let me show you the colors that I'm going to be using. And it's going to be a Dollar Tree um, cactus, so it's going to be pretty cool. I've got here some phthalo green some sea green neon green i decided a little yellow would be good so a pastel yellow some earthy color um, is what i was looking for so i got a bronze and then here is a forest green and then you know there's always some little flowers on the cactus so i also have some rose pink that i'm going to put in there so we are going to go ahead and let me show you what I do. I just take, again, all of this stuff can be got at the Dollar Tree, um, except for the pouring paints. And you can actually get paints there as well, um, and then make them pouring paints by adding some Floetrol. But Arteza already has it all like nice and ready to flow. So I'm taking this now, because it's got all of my other paint on it, I'm just gonna take a piece of cardboard so you can't see that and then I'm gonna take a Dollar Tree chopping mat and the reason I'm doing it it's got two sides it's got a I don't know if you can hear that a side there that has a little bit of um, uh, what's it called a little bumps texture and then this side you can't hear anything it's very smooth so I'm gonna put that smooth side down and the reason I'm doing that, I'll, I'll cover this up in a minute, but the reason I'm doing that is because when this paint falls, I wanna be able to take that paint and use it for, I don't know, maybe making some fun stuff. So I'm also taking one of these um, cooling racks. They have those at the Dollar Tree as well. And so that sits a little bit higher. And then I'm taking um, this is a Greenbrier brand, so it is Dollar Tree, and I've got my little cactus there. So that is how you set that up, and you are now ready to go. I'm going to move this just off to the side for a minute so that we can get our paints together. I'm just taking a little cup, enough that's going to, um, you want it big enough that you could Put all the colors that you need so if you're doing a big huge canvas you're gonna want to get mm, probably like a nice size um, cup like a big 32 ounce cup but we're just doing a little piece here so I'm gonna start with the uh, sea green and I'm just gonna add some there and I'm not gonna make the whole thing so you don't want to just you don't want to use all kinds of colors. I mean, not all kinds of colors, all kinds of paint if you're not going to be using, um, what, what's, what am I saying? If you are not going to be um, using huge canvases. There we go. I got it. It took a minute. I'm going to put just a little bit of pink and I'm going to put that in with that blue that's like that. Really little bit. See there? And then I'm going to put a dot here and there. So do what you'd like. This is your piece. And then we're going to get that forest green in here. And again, I'm going to put some more dots here. gonna put enough dots. Doesn't that look fun? There we go. I'm gonna do the same with the bronze because I don't want a lot of bronze. 
Okay, that had a little bit of clear. I may not have shook that up. Make sure you shake them all up. And I thought I did, but I must not have done the bronze because I was checking to make sure that they were um, all opened as well. So when you get these, you do have to open them. They come sealed. And then we've got some yellow. Now I'm doing again just these little bits for some of these colors because I do want the main part to be a nice green. So I'm going to go back in here with a little bit more of the sea green and I'm going to just kind of run that across just like that. Okay. I think we're good. I think we've got enough. Let me just add a little bit more just in case. And we'll add some more of this color because I do want it to be green. All right, we've got that. At this point, you could swirl it around, do whatever you'd like. I'm going to leave it as is, but I definitely think I have enough paint. It's better to have more paint, I think, than less. But I think we can do that. So I'm going to just turn this sideways. And then I've got that lovely little pour. And this part's going to be just painted on its own. So I'm actually going to start kind of right up here. And we're just going to... move along like this and then I'm going to do some right here and then get that right here and you see it's got its own little textures and whatnot going on so now we can move this around as we'd like. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Isn't that so pretty? Just trying to get it to the sides. I guess I did need a little bit more. Oh man, this is gorgeous. We're just Letting that flow. Probably a little bit more would have been been nice. I thought I had enough, but I think I'm gonna have to get some more added. Look at all these little dots down here. Super pretty. Alright, we're gonna add some more. And you'll see that this is gonna be so different than what we started with. But I'm okay. We're going to get this. I'm adding over some dots over here of the pink. You couldn't really see any of that pink, but the yellow came through rather nicely. And the bronze didn't come through very much either. So I'm going to add a little bit more bronze as well. This is really pretty and of course after I said make sure you have enough of the colors that you want I did not put enough so here we go and we are going to end up with a whole new look <laughs> on top of that so we've got this going and I'm going to add some more down here but you see and I'm going to mix this in I'm not going to go the whole the whole way here. Now that pink is starting to come out. So pretty, still so pretty. Oh my goodness.
and I think we're doing really well especially on this bottom down here okay so now I'm gonna move it toward the bottom a little bit more make sure we cover everything move that off to the sides and we're gonna do that same thing that we just did now look at that how pretty this is coming out I'm going to move it off to the side, get some movement going this way. And we're going to do the same with some movement going this way. And I'm going to push it upside down or hang it upside down and get some more movement flowing oh man this is super pretty I wish you could see it even better but look at that isn't that cool and then for your sides if you have any run over or you want to color in those sides just go ahead dip down in between and get some paint there and get that on your sides like that so you can make, be an artist with Dollar Tree items so if you like this please give me a big thumbs up I will show this it needs to set and rest these sides are all looking great here don't be afraid to get dirty And don't be afraid to move things around. If you don't like the way something looks, you know, if you want this to be longer, get a toothpick or something in there. Let it let it just flow like you want it. So, all right, beauties. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. Of course, you know I always have to keep baby wipes nearby for this reason. You never know where your finger is going to get dirty with ink or whatnot so I'm just gonna wipe that right off and again like I said you could run um, things through here if you'd like I'm not going to but I am going to um, use my torch because any bubbles that are in there I want to get those out of there remember it is wood so don't put it too close I'm gonna get that out and oh my gosh we're just gonna sit and wait I will end up painting the base um, later on as well oh I'm super excited I hope you like this and I will show you um, the end when it dries okay bye all right look at how it came out it's all nice and dry everything came out super cute I painted the back up a little bit and the base I'm gonna repaint the base in probably a, the bronze color but I just think this came out so cute. And now I'm going to add some resin on here. I'm going to use the Envirotex Light Pour on Resin. I did a video that you may have seen earlier. So you will be able to check that out if you want to see how I make my resin. But we've got that resin right here. And we are just going to put that on here. So I've already got it all ready. And let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to remove this for right now because I want to use these slicks as well. So if you want to see that future video on how I use my um, leftover acrylic, make sure you uh, subscribe. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. We're going to pour some of this on and I want to just get a little bit to start. I have a lot of... Um, the resin made so we're gonna probably have a few videos coming so I still have something on the bottom because I definitely want um, the spills to go somewhere so I've got that covering the entire bottom the thing about this is you just have to put a light coat on it's gonna even itself out you do not need to worry and just look at that shine it puts on there. 
So I'm going to put a little bit more here. A little bit here. Ooh, that was a lot. Just move that around. And it'll fall off the sides, and that's okay. But it's self-evening, which is really nice. So you just have to put a little thin coat. And if you were wondering where I got this little spatula, it is actually a makeup brush from the Dollar Tree. So I tried to use almost everything from the Dollar Tree that I could get. You can use acrylic paints from the Dollar Tree. You can use the makeup brushes, the um, these little Betty Crocker guys here. I'm going to put just a little bit more. Not much more. And you can make beautiful stuff for very inexpensive. I'm just moving it around. Once I know that it's completely covered everywhere, There we go. Again, it's going to even itself out. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I don't want to get this messy. There we go. I'm going to take my blowtorch and I'm gonna um, pop any bubbles by torching them out. So I don't know if you could see it or not, but when I just hit this right over there, very nice and lightly, it doesn't have to be very long at all, any little bubbles come right out. So we're good. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so cute. So now all we need to do is let that finish. Um, drying, it takes about they say six to eight hours, but we're going to leave it overnight and we're going to go ahead and check it out in the morning. All right, here's that finished product. Look at that nice shine on it. Isn't that so pretty? It came out so well, I cannot wait to put it up. All right, I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you later. Bye.